is another topic called DQ. D E Q U. DQ. What is DQ? DQ is a kind of a Q, okay, where insertion and deletion can take place from both ends. Now, how is that possible? We are saying that Q Q principle is that insertion takes place from the rear end, deletion takes place from the front end. But it is a very peculiar kind of a Q where insertion and deletion can take place in either ends. But which end? Okay. Accordingly, it is divided into two categories. One is called input restricted DQ, input restricted DQ and another one is called output restricted DQ, output restricted DQ. So you just have to know by their names and you have to know the concept what it is because a two mark question is given uh, what is basically output restricted Q. So you should be able to write and explain things. So from that point of view you need to know these two topics. Okay, now what is input restricted DQ? Input restricted DQ says input means here basically we are talking about insertion and output means we are talking about removal of element. Remember this. Okay. Input means we are talking about it is hinting towards insertion in a queue and output means it is hinting towards removal of, a, of an element from a queue. So what is input restricted DQ? Input restricted DQ says the first one that insertion can take place, insertion can, will take place only from the rear end. That is it will follow the original property of queue. In original property of the queue we saw insertion takes place only from the rear end. Here also insertion will take place only from the rear end. But removal of elements that is deletion of elements can take place from both ends. So let us see what will happen if this is my queue. These are my elements 2, 9, 6, 7. Right? I have more cells here. Right? And this is my front. And this is my rear. So insertion can take place 0, 1, 2, 3. Insertion only has to take place from this end. Okay? That means if I want to insert in, a, in an input restricted DQ, if I insert an element, it has to come after 7. If I insert an element here, next element will come here, like this. But deletion can take place from both ends. Okay? Deletion can take place from both ends means I can remove from here, I can remove from here as well. Now, how will you remove from, first of all in the list, if P is a list, okay, say 2, 4, 6, 8, these 4 values you have. That means 2 is in index 0, 4 is in index 1, 6 is in index 2, 8 is in index 3. So, if I write P dot pop, what will happen? We know this way only 8 is removed. So, in deletion from the end is not a problem. In a stack, we have done it very easily. But how will you remove the 0 itself? You have learnt it day before yesterday that if you put p dot pop, then what happens? It removes from the front. Okay. Right? So, basically, if we want to remove from the end, okay, from this end, from the rear end, we can directly write p dot pop, so 7 will be off. And if I write p dot pop from the 0, p dot pop 0, then 0 and 7 will be out. Now forget about list for a while, okay? Forget about list for a while, okay? Because normally I told you that q is implemented in an array. In an array, what will happen? If you insert from this end, what will happen? Rear will increase. That means next, after next insertion, what will happen? Rear from 3 will become equal to 4. But if I remove, what will happen? I told you in input restricted DQ you can remove from both ends. So if I remove from rear end, which is unusual, what will happen? In that case, 7 is out, so obviously rear will go back here. Logically, that's what we can see. And if we delete from this end, what will happen? Front will go back here. Right? So front will be 1, rear will be 2 in this case. But this will happen only in the case of arrays. We saw that when we are implementing queue through list, 
this kind of thing is not possible. Keeping zero is still blank, you go. That happens only in Alice. So we had to modify our program a little when we wrote Q program. Fine. So this is your input restricted DQ. So we can very clearly draw a diagram and we can say that the insertion will take place only from the rear end and deletion can take place, removal of the element can take place from either ends. That is called input restricted DQ. And output restricted DQ says exactly the opposite thing. Output means I told you it is hinting towards uh, removal of an element. Fine. So removal of an element we know it happens only from the front. So removal of an element can happen only from the front. That means if this is my Q, I can only remove 23. Removing has to happen in the zero itself. That means I need to write, if I try to do it through a list, I have to do p dot pop zero. Then only I need to remove this one. But insertion can take place from both ends. Okay. Insertion can take place from both ends. So if I do the insertion now, then how do I do? Okay. Insertion here is very simple. If we just do this dot happen, then we will insert here. But how do you insert in the zero itself? This you have learned in class 11. If you do p dot insert, there is a function called insert function. If p is a list having values say 2, 4 and 6. Okay. And you wrote p dot insert. First you wrote index position 0. And I wanted to have a number 70. It means in the index position 0, you insert a number 70. So what will happen? P will now look like, P will now become 17 the 0 itself, 2, 4, 6. That is how it will arrange itself. That is how basically we do output restricted key. Okay, so insertion from this end is not a problem only because if I do append automatically the insertion will take this there. Insertion if you want to happen this side, then you insert like this. So automatically what will happen? If I insert a number 70, so 70 will come here and 23, 14, 20, etc, etc, they will all be pushed towards the right. So this is the concept of output restricted queue. Now this DQ program will be required or not that I have to see as I told you at the very beginning. Uh, I will just see the syllabus a little carefully okay, and then I will take a decision on that. But I am just reading out a question, this uh, I can do it but I think I thought now uh, you should be able to handle this kind of question by yourself. I am reading the question very very carefully, explaining you but you will solve it, okay. What is it? It says that you have to write a program depending on user's choice, you have to write a program depending on user's choice either to push or pop. That means normally what we do, we give options in the main body. User has an option to either push an element or pop an element from a stack. But the stack is here a little weird. What is the weird in it? The elements are shifted towards the right. The elements are shifted towards the right. So that pop always remains at 0th index. Okay. The elements are shifted towards the right so that top always remains at 0th index. That means it's not the Q we have done. We have taken, imagine Q like this, in the top end insertion was taking place, right? This was my 0th cell, this was my first cell, second cell, third cell. So from the top end always insertion and deletion happened. Now they are saying you to do opposite thing. Insertion and deletion always has to happen. Imagine it's a list like this. This is 0 itself, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, okay. So as you insert and as you, if you want to delete, both has to happen in the 0 itself. So imagine in this kind of stack, initially there was nothing, fine. So I put my first number here and the number is 40, okay. So top will be at 0, okay. Top will be always at 0, okay. No matter whatever happens, that's it. Now if I insert another number, what will happen? Okay, what will happen? Now look at this, 14 numbers are shifted on the right side, right? 
so say 15 say, say 14 is still there i said that i number 23 okay so top is still standing at zero inputs very weird opposite thing of whatever we have done i insert now another thing what can happen say i insert a number 37 so it will become 37 23 and then 40. here is my zero answer and when we remove the same thing will happen if i remove 37 what will happen the 23 and 14 will come in so this is how the things are going to be like it's not so difficult because insertion i told you already how to insert in the zero itself you use insert function first we write the position then we write the element to be inserted so insertion is not a problem only deletion also will not be a problem if you implement it through a list because we can always write if a list is p p dot pop zero we have done it in fact in the queue then the queue is zero itself will be removed that is how the insertion and deletion has to happen in a stack okay i will give you this question as a prep on sunday okay i explain to you what it is like so that you don't feel uncomfortable reading the question okay and try to do it by yourself